Happy Wednesday, KO4. I have another book about growing things. And it's probably somebody, some of you guys' favorite food to eat. It is called, So You Want to Grow a Pizza. All right, so we're going to learn about the different things that happen when you want to make a pizza. By Bridget Heos, illustrated by, ben, ben, by Danielle Fabui. Pizza is delicious. Have you ever wondered where it comes from? Like all food, it comes from plants and animals. How would you like to grow a pizza at home? You can't grow a whole pizza, of course. But you can grow the ingredients. The crust is made from wheat. For that, you'll need a wheat field. You guys have a wheat field by you? I don't even think we have any in South Dakota. We might. And for the cheese, you'll need milk. That comes from a cow. Do any of you have a cow? I do not. I used to live by a dairy farm, though. Do you like pepperoni? That's made from pork which comes from a pig. We have some pigs in South Dakota and cows. Uh-oh, unless you live on a farm, you might be run running out of space. Maybe you should start simple. Grow the sauce. Pizza sauce is made with tomatoes, garlic, oregano, and oregano. These plants need food of their own to grow. Plant Food includes water, sunlight, and nutrients which come from the soil. So we have a tomato, garlic, and oregano. Choose a sunny spot, then add soil. You can make your own soil from compost. Compost is a mixture of stuff that used to grow as plants. So it says leaves and grass, fruit and vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, and even newspaper you can put in your compost. Keep the compost damp and turn it every few days. Soon worms will live in it and will move in. They'll eat the compost and turn it into soil. This will take a couple of months. I'm not sure if any of you have a compost pile at your houses. Now it's time to plant. Garlic likes cold weather. Plant it in late fall. Pull the cloves of the garlic bulb apart. Plant them each in a small hole, pointy side up. Garlic bulb, garlic clove. Pointy side up, huh? Your garlic will grow through the winter, but wait until late spring to plant your tomatoes and oregano. Otherwise, they'll freeze. Oh, what a nice brisk day. <laughs> Freezing. So the plants need different things. They don't always need a sunny to grow, huh? Sometimes. In spring, dig holes for the tomato plants. Place the plants' roots down in the holes. Cover the bases with soil. Put the metal cages around the young tomato plants. That way, the plants will grow tall and straight, not wild and crazy. Wild and crazy tomatoes, and these ones are growing tall and straight. Next, plant the oregano. Make a line in the soil. Sprinkle the seeds along the line. Cover them with soil. Water the garden and wait. You can't see it, but your plants are growing slowly. When the oregano, oregano seeds sprout, they will be a little crowded. Pull some out so that others have room to grow. Move over. Stop touching my leaves. Ouch, you stepped on my root. Uh-oh. Keep watering every few days if it doesn't rain. Also, pull up the weeds. If you don't, they'll steal food from your plants. We don't want them to steal. 
Soon it will be harvest time. When the garlic leaves turn yellow, carefully pull up the bulbs. Pick the red tomatoes off the vine. Cut some sprigs of oregano. You can make the sauce and bake your pizza and invite your friends over for a pizza. Pizza party with the freshest pizza sauce in town. And then it actually gives you homegrown pizza sauce ingredients and then what to do. So I hope you guys, and there's a glossary, it says compost, a mixture of dead plants that eventually become soil. Harvest, to pick vegetables, fruit, or other plants that are ready to be eaten. Sprig, a small branch with leaves or flowers. Sprout, to grow and push up from underground. And then it tells us some more books that you could read and some websites that you could go to too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book about how to grow your own pizza. Most importantly, how to make the sauce, because that would be the easiest thing you could do if you live in town. So I hope you have an awesome Wildcat Wednesday, and I will uh, see some of you for some Zoom meetings too. Okay, have an awesome day.